Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and I want to start off a new video series where I'm going around trying all of Walt Disney's favorite food items. Because of the 50th anniversary, tons of sit-down restaurants and quick service locations are offering Walt Disney recipe items and I thought it would be fun since me and him kind of have the same taste in food, meat and potatoes, so why not try to eat like Walt Disney? Anywho's, let's go do this. The reason I'm starting off this video series here at Hollywood Studios is because at the Hollywood Brown Derby, they're offering up Walt Disney's famous roast beef hash, and I cannot wait to try it. Not only do they have the filet with Walt Disney's roast beef hash, but they also have a 50th anniversary baked Alaska, and I cannot wait. Like, all that sounds so delicious, and right up my alley, or right up Walt's alley. After we get done with dinner, I do want to hang out at Hollywood Studios a little bit and maybe ride a ride or two. But I want to point out that the Christmas decorations are starting to get put up here, and it's only October 17th. I like it when Christmas and Halloween kind of cross over, though. It's like a nightmare before Christmas, like, love for me. If you guys know of any other Walt Disney favorites, let me know in the comments so I can check them out. I do have a couple of them in mind here at Walt Disney World, like Walt's Chili over at the Crystal Palace. Actually, the whole entire menu is Walt's favorite, so I'll have to revisit that one. They have uh, Walt Disney's Hot Dog at Casey's because that has Walt's Chili on top of it. And hopefully one day I can make it to California because there's a lot more over there. And like I said, I want to make this a video series, so it's not like something that has to be done quickly. It's something I just kind of want to, I just want to do. I feel like it's such a great, awesome experience. Now I think it's time we actually check in for our reservation here at the Hollywood Brown Derby. And I'm so excited to try Walt's roast beef hash and the baked Alaska. I think both of those things are like a phenomenal way to start off. One of the things I learned because I did a little research on this was Walt wasn't a big fan of steak. Like Diane Disney uh, once said that he was more of a fan of like stews and hash and soup and chili and stuff like that. And he liked like lamb and potatoes and biscuits and eggs and toast, like meat and potatoes, but he wasn't a big fan of steak. And the steak that they have here at the Brown Derby, uh, the reason I'm going for that is because it's served with Walt's famous roast beef hash. And that's what he liked. And the steak is just accompanied with it and an egg on top because that's Walt's way. Here is a look at the menu they have outside and right at the top there it says 50th anniversary filet mignon with Walt Disney's roast beef hash served Walt's way with a fried egg on top. I am so excited to try this. They don't have the dessert menu listed but they do have other offerings here like the brown derby signature burger and of course the Cobb salad that everyone loves here but it's all about Walt Disney today. The Hollywood Brown Derby has two different seating areas. They have the lounge, which is first come first serve, and then inside. And I think we're gonna be dining inside because I've actually never eaten inside. I've only ever ate out at the lounge. I think it's the same menu. The only difference is the lounge does not offer any annual pass discounts, which is kind of a big thing, especially if you have a whole family that's gonna be dining here. You definitely wanna eat inside to actually take advantage of those discounts. This place is so cool and has so much Hollywood history and I love looking at all the different pictures and characters on the walls. In fact, some of the characters are from the original Brown Derby restaurants, and I think that's really cool that they have them here. And plus they have fancy lights that are in the shape of hats, and that is kind of just like me. Look at it. <laughs> but from what I was told, any of the characters that are actually in a gold frame are original ones, like these ones right here, and look at that. Seriously, what artwork. Unbelievable. They also have a line of working payphones in here, which I think are super rare. I mean, some vintage artwork and some vintage payphones. Looks like we got a change of plans because they're falling a little bit behind on reservation times in there. I've already waited about 35 minutes uh, past my reservation time and they said it could be another 20, 25 minutes. So they offered me to come sit out at the lounge without waiting and uh, seems like a nice day anyway. So I figured I'd come out and uh, enjoy a little dinner underneath the sky. It's gonna be beautiful out and I'm happy anyways. I also don't mind sitting here and just kind of people watching. I mean, this is like a really cool spot. You get to look at the Chinese theater, just see people going about enjoying their day at Hollywood Studios, and a nice little sunset's gonna be happening soon. 
Another kind of cool thing is you can see the cavalcades over the grassy knoll. Look at that, Mickey Mouse, it looks like he's floating, doesn't it? <laughs> that is so funny. He looks like he's just floating through Hollywood Studios. And here it is. Take a look at that. So amazing. You can definitely see the roast beef hash on the bottom there. And then the filet right in between. So it goes hash, filet, and then egg. And then we got the green beans and the red wine sauce right here. And I cannot wait to cut into this. This looks so good, and I think it's going to be something that I love. I always feel bad breaking a sunny side up egg, but I'm going to have to do it just to cut through the steak. So we're going to go right here and just down a little bit. Look at that. That's too easy. <laughs> wow. A little bit of everything on one bite just the way I like and oh boy I feel like this steak actually might rank really high up with my favorite steaks at Walt Disney World we're gonna give it a go here to be honest I wasn't expecting this to be high on my favorite steak list yeah. because I don't like fillets. I mean, I like fillets, but I like ribeyes better. But I have to say, I'm kind of blown away by it. I'm gonna have to let. I'm gonna have to think about this to see where this ranks with me because this is just really amazing. And the roast base, the, the roast beef hash, is so so good. Look at it all under there. Oh my lord. If there was a way I can just order this roast beef hash, I would because it is that good. But pair it up with the eggs and the steak and it is phenomenal. I don't want it to end. I keep on taking little tiny bites because I want to savor every single bite. <laughs> this is like the perfect steak for me. Just the way I would actually like it. I like this better with the egg and the roast beef hash than I would with like a truffle butter on it or a blue cheese shallot. And man, oh man, like this is top notch right here. Like the whole meal is. I love the roast beef hash, I love the steak, and I love the pairing with an egg. I've never eaten a steak with an egg before, but we're doing it Walt's way, and honestly, I think it's my way now too. I can promise you guys 100%, there is no way I would ever put an egg on top of my steak and try it. And if it wasn't for this, I would never know how good it is, but I love it. It is, I don't know why, it's just everything mixes so good. And the roast beef hash is like just amazing. One of my favorite food and wine things this year was the Spam and hash. And it's just like this, like I just love potatoes and meat. So good. <laughs> It didn't stand a chance. <laughs> didn't stand a chance at all. One of the best things about the roast beef hash is it has small pieces of the filet in the hash. And it's just so good. I love hash. And like I said, the spam hash that was over in Food and Wine Festival was so great this year. I, I need more places. We need more hash. Oh, the potato hash that's at the uh, Santui Canteen. That is also amazing. Now it is time for dessert and we lost a lot of light because uh, it's getting dark out But I'm gonna show you guys my baked Alaska with my light on my phone here a little bit Too bright, but holy moly there it is. Look at that. Isn't that so cool looking? Honestly, it's like one of the most unique looking desserts. I think I've ever seen so we're gonna cut right on into it It kind of looks like a sea creature doesn't it? Oh, it's hard. I might break this. Oh, there we go. I was like, I might break this fork. I don't think I've ever had a baked Alaska either, so first time trying this as well. So here we go. Well, since I've never had a baked Alaska before, I really can't compare it to other baked Alaskas. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing like really amazing. Um, I think I should have probably got the grapefruit cake first. Like I never had that before. And I think next time I'll get that instead of getting something like this but it was unique and awesome to try. So it's always great experiences. 
Well, that was a great way to kick off Walt's favorites. The uh, roast beef hash was phenomenal. Everything I expected it to be. And the filet was, like I said, in my top five now. Like, that is so crazy. I think a good spot is number four. Number one, still Space 220 with the 24 ounce coffee rubbed ribeye. Number two is going to be Shula's. Number three is going to be the Cowboy at California Grill. Number four, uh, of course, tonight here, the filet. And number five is going to the Lee and uh, yeah, that's the top five there. And it's always it's always changing because we're always getting new items. And I think we're gonna go to a restaurant very soon that's gonna top that list again. As I was coming out of the Hollywood Brown Derby, I noticed that the Disney Junior section over here is kind of just like empty. Like there's nothing back here, but they still have the lights on and all the different photo opportunities with the music still playing, kind of creepy. So you can hear the song for that one. And then if we go down here, you can hear the songs for this one too. Isn't that crazy? Wait, and then we're gonna go down here too. <laughs> but there's like nobody over here. So like that's what kind of makes it more eerie. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh yeah, this is the party. And it's super bright in here. Yes, it is super bright. <laughs> oh, we got one more here too. It's your checkup time. Now I think we got a little time before the park closed, so we're gonna head down to Toy Story Land. I'd love to do Slinky Dog Dash at night or Alien Swirling Saucers. That'd be pretty. Before we make our way to Toy Story Land, maybe we'll swing into Walt Disney Presents and check out some of the things about Walt Disney in here since, you know, we're starting Walt Disney's favorite food shows. It is so cool in here. I love just going through and looking at all the Walt Disney history and just seeing everything progress with time. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty amazing to come in here. One of my favorite things that Walt Disney did that probably doesn't get a lot of attention is a true life adventure. Stories from nature. If you guys have seen some of my sunrise videos, I take a lot of audio from the true life uh, uh, documentaries and actually put it inside the music because I love it so much. This part is one of my favorite parts inside Walt Disney Presents. Sundays with Uncle Walt. One of the newest additions inside Walt Disney Presents is the Disney Wish section. And look at how amazing Cinderella is. Isn't this display amazing? Cinderella is just going round and round and round. I really like it. It's a really cool display. Oh look, they have worlds of Marvel restaurants aboard the Disney Wish. That's gonna be really cool dining experience. I have never done a Disney cruise before, or actually I've never done a cruise at all. So eventually it's on my list of things I would really like to do. One of the cool things in here you can do is actually grab one of the trivia sheets and it has a whole bunch of different questions on it. But on the back, it actually has one of Walt's favorite quotes on there. And this one is a really good one. Get a good idea and stay with it. Dog it and work at it until it's done and done right. Walt Disney. Now we're gonna move along to Andy's backyard. Last time I was at Hollywood Studios, I came all the way over here, but I didn't get to ride anything, and I was just talking about how beautiful it is, but I wanna ride Slinky Dog Dash at night tonight. It is the perfect night, like it's so beautiful and breezy. I love it. Isn't it so pretty over here? Oh, there goes Slinky. Howdy. Being here in the backyard with all you new toys, this is definitely my finest hour. Welcome. Not even gonna lie, Woody just scared me. Woody was really loud and caught me completely off guard there. Take a look at that slinky track doll. Yeah. 
Yeah. Some rides just give me a happy feeling like I need to ride. And Slinky Dog Dash is one of those rides. I come to Hollywood Studios and I'm like, oh, I want to ride Slinky. I feel like it's a must for me every time. I literally get like happy feelings just coming here and riding Slinky Dog Dash. I don't know why, it's just one of those rides that I just generally connect with happiness. And we're gonna go back row. Here comes Slinky. I think I'm gonna hold on to my hat like this. The bags in here are a little small so my hat doesn't fit in there. I could just put it on the floor, but I kind of like wearing it. I'm bald. was exactly what I needed to make this day even better. Nice little ride on Slinky Dog Dash. And now I think maybe we'll go ride Toy Story Midway Mania because it looks like it's a walk-on. And you know, I can't pass up a walk-on on Toy Story Midway Mania. It says 20 minutes, but I feel otherwise. So we're just gonna go for it. Oh yeah, it's a walk-on. Just me and good old Potato Head. He's not saying anything today though, he is blinking. Actually, way more frequent than he should. He talks, he sings, he's the potato head. Wow, this is a walk-on. And there's nobody even coming up behind me. That's pretty crazy, right? Wasn't expecting that at all. It's like nobody wants to ride Toy Story Midway Mania as it gets later in the evening. Got my glasses on. I'm not gonna be able to film much on the ride because I'm gonna try to get a nice high score, but it's gonna be a little difficult. So we'll try our best. I like in the beginning of Toy Story Midway Mania, you just have this eye contact with the people across from you. Hi friends. Hello. <laughs> and we're not gonna waste our energy on the practice round. You gotta save that, you have to save that arm strength. Just pull the string. Let's go by. Let's see what we got here. Time to tally up the scores. Ooh, it's a little rocky though. Come on, get us the bear. We want the bear. Ah, oh, we got the deer. But still a pretty good score though. I'll take that. Woohoo! Well, I got best in vehicle, but not this hour. 346 for this hour. 597 for the month. I'd love to get that one day. Not too shabby at all, I say. Game glasses, bam. I love how Potato Head acts like he's so innocent, but we all know he's one-eyed Bart. We know. We know, one-eyed Bart. Since we're over here in Toy Story Land, I think maybe we'll cut through Star Wars Land and see what the wait time for Rise of the Resistance is just before the park closes. I mean, if we can get on, that would be amazing, but if it's over an hour wait, I probably won't want to wait. But it's always nice to walk through Batu. 
doesn't seem that busy over here but we're gonna actually go over to rise of resistance like I said and there's probably gonna be a wait but you know we'll see you don't know until you go check it out well I came all the way over here and it looks like the ride is just down and they're not gonna reopen it up so uh, there's no wait time uh, I think what they have is what they have there's only about 30 minutes left to the park is uh, closed so if it's something that it needs like a hard reset then there's no way they would reopen it and they just close down the line and that's what they did so no rise of the resistance for tonight I suppose if we can't ride Rise of the Resistance, then we do the next best thing and maybe do some star tours heading into the forest of blue lights. I don't know if it's possible to get your own star tour, but uh, it would be cool if it happened today. Your attention, please. Galactic regulations state that all interplanetary travelers present a current passport and the necessary visas prior to leaving the spaceport. Honestly, I really don't know if it's even a possibility to get our own Star Tour, but nobody's behind me. Nobody's coming Star in. Star Tours is now offering convenient daily departures to the tranquil planet of Naboo. Naboo? The elected queen of Naboo. Oh, here comes some friends. Or a new great adventure, you won't want to miss it. Oh, nope, I don't think it's possible. Looks like they were holding up all tours until the car was full. Shoo shoo. Well, looks like we've got the back row. Well, the second to back row, but nobody's coming in on the back row, I don't think. I have a one in eight chance at being the rebel spy. I like these odds. This is going to be a good time, maybe. Prepare to be boarded, Captain. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. I am sleeping. We know you have this rebel spy on board. Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> where are we now? The walking planet. chance I still wasn't picked to be the rebel spy maybe it's just meant to never happen maybe I'm just not a spy well the park is about to close now and it looks like they're about to start the animation show on the Chinese theater maybe we'll watch a little bit and then go uh, do some shopping and, and see if anything new Ooh. As Disney's Hollywood Studios proudly presents the wonderful world of animation so we can actually go in to the shops and not be so crowded when we go through them. You know what I mean? Because once the show ends, everybody's gonna be coming this way. 
we'll start by going through Disney and company here. Just see if they got any new things or some fancy things, you know, like all the things. I just realized when I walked in and seen all the Halloween stuff that I still need to get Gracie a Halloween costume this year. Like I need to get her something to dress up as. And I kind of have something in mind, but I think it's at Disney Springs, so it's not gonna be here, but we'll have to make a trip down there soon. I'm loving these retro Walt Disney World shirts. Look at this one. That is awesome. And it says Walt Disney World down the side. Oh, if this was black, I would buy that in a heartbeat. I really love it. Oh, I love this too. Oh, holy moly. They're really getting some good items. And I have to say, the 50th anniversary merchandise is really cool. Oh, the original baddies. I think we'll hop over to the 5 and 10. They've got a lot of the Walt Disney World vault collection there. Lots of the new Alice merchandise for the 70th. Look at that. They have the stuffed animals too. Wow. Actually, these are really nice. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting this blanket either. That's really fancy. Very comfortable. I have the Walt Disney World one, and that's really good material. Well, it looks like we're just in time for the... Well, it looks like we're just in time for the finale here. Oh, you can't even see the fireworks. With that, I think we are done here today. What a fun, amazing evening that we had. We started off with a great meal at the Hollywood Brown Derby, kicking off a new video series where we're trying Walt's favorite food and eating like Walt. And I'm excited to keep on doing that. Like, like I said before, let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions or things that I could do, like you read around property or anything like that. And I'll make sure to try to do them all. And I don't know, I just had a great day here at Hollywood Studios. The weather is beautiful and I'm happy like, just to be here. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!